The Easter holidays are approaching and April is predicted <gasps> to be the hottest one on record. I have booked a staycation. You have? You have? Me and you Steph. might have come up trumps here. Steph and I, if, father, if my father-in-law's watching, he'll be cross with that one. Steph and I um, are, uh, are going on a, on a, like a driving holiday. little adventure. Yeah, we're on a road trip around the uh, UK. That's exciting. So we're going to make the most of what Britain has to offer this time, seeing well, as when we went to Dubai, it just poured out <laughs> for a fortnight. <laughs> no, fair enough. Uh, if you still need inspiration, Alice Beer is live from a holiday lighthouse. Whereabouts in the country are you? That looks beautiful. Isn't it gorgeous? Welcome to my lighthouse. This is the West Usk Lighthouse on the Severn Estuary in South Wales. And it is very beautiful and very, very blowy. This is really the ultimate get away from it all staycation. And more and more people are choosing to holiday in the UK. Why is that? Well, financial worries. Uh, maybe they're worried about travelling by plane and terrorism, or maybe they just want to get away from Brexit. And you could not be further away from Article 50 on the South Wales coast, let me tell you. Look at the views across the Severn Estuary. Yes, you've got a bit of an Usk power station going on, but sweep to the west and you have beautiful coastal views all the way along there. You can tramp and walk to your heart's content. And there's the lighthouse pub at the end of it. And if your limbs are a little tired when you get home, perhaps you want to pop into the hot tub. Talk me through the TARDIS changing room. It's all going on here. There's a barbecue, there's a pizza oven. It's all happening down there. It's so windy, I'm worried about my toupee. We're going inside the light tower. Oh, that's a bit better. Now, Easter is promising to be really, really hot, but if you do need to get cosy, then you just snuggle up in the light tower and enjoy the views. It couldn't be better. This lighthouse is available on a bed and breakfast basis. It sleeps 10. There's water beds and king size four poster beds, which go from about 155 pounds a night. And let me tell you, Danielle cooks up a mean full Monty breakfast to be enjoyed. Plenty to do national trust properties. There's Roman amphitheaters. So lots to do. And they're licensed for weddings too. Just saying. Um, no, let's move on from that topic because that's a little bit dodgy. Um, if this isn't the location for you, or perhaps you need a little bigger space, there's plenty of places available online and it's never been easier to source your own staycation. Just put it into the search engine what you want. There's lots of places still available. 